part three, editing audio inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's recap a little bit. In part one, I showed you the audio assistant tab. In part two, I showed you how to edit the Shure SM7B inside the Fairlight tab and some of the basics of editing audio inside DaVinci Resolve. But this is part three, so let's turn it up a little bit. Here we have three shotgun microphones. Microphone one is the Sennheiser MKH50 that costs $1,499. Next up is the Sennheiser MKE400 at $149. The Mic 3, the Rode Video Micro version one at $68.70. And today we are going to use proper miking techniques and DaVinci Resolve to make this microphone sound as close to this microphone as possible. Typically people will throw the mic on top of a camera and they start talking, but this is not the best situation. Remove that mic away from the camera, get a boom pole. I like this one from Insta360. Get it about 12 inches away from your talent and your mic should sound a lot better. All right guys, here we are inside DaVinci Resolve. We're just gonna see what the Rode Video Micro sounds like with no processing. This is an audio test, one, two, three. We are seeing how close that we can make these two shotgun microphones microphone sound in DaVinci Resolve. All right, and then let's see what the Sennheiser MKH-50 sounds like with zero processing. This is an audio test, one, two, three. We are seeing how close that we can make these two shotgun microphones sound in DaVinci Resolve. All right, we have a lot of work to do. Let's go inside our mixer. So we're gonna go ahead and activate dynamics. We're gonna add compression, do some makeup gain. We're gonna add a limiter so we don't peak. Oh man, we're gonna need to definitely add some EQ. Um, sounds pretty thin, right? Let's this is an audio test, one, two, three. We are seeing how close that we can make is these two shotgun microphones bass? sound in DaVinci Resolve. How's my compressor? Let's do about 50% voice isolation. And you know what, for good measure, let's get a dialogue leveler up in here as well. And uh, let's just leave that at default settings. All right, let's see what this sounds like now. This is an audio test, one, two, three. We are seeing how close that we can make these two shotgun microphones sound in DaVinci Resolve. That's pretty close. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty close. I mean, let's be real, this is a $1,500 microphone and we are making a $69 microphone sound as close as possible we can to that. Let me know if you guys have any more questions about audio, video, and lighting and follow for more.